Greetings. This will be an astrolog and video report of today's magnitude 7.5 earthquake in Drake Passage just an hour ago on August 22nd. Now this earthquake followed up another major event in Drake Passage on May 2nd, magnitude 7.4. So we have a similar magnitude and the earthquake epicenters are slightly different locations and when I see something like this, two major earthquakes very nearby, it's generally an association with a Uranus or Neptune orbit as we can see their close proximity and orbital loop. Now I did suggest in the previous astrolog on May 2nd of the magnitude 7.4 earthquake in Drake Passage that I was expecting another earthquake event based on the solar eclipse foreshadows and we actually did get this in August just today so I'll leave a little clip at the end of this video just to show that little section. We're now looking at a chart of both earthquake events for Drake Passage in 2025 on the left hand side May 2nd and today's date earthquake 22nd of August on the right hand side. And what I see quite fascinating is the position of Neptune. Now the first earthquake 7.5 in the region I attributed to the conjunction of Neptune and Venus as we can see on the chart. But importantly Neptune's position it was sitting at 1 degree 7 minutes. Now since May Neptune has moved forward and then stationed in July and moved back retrograde. It's actually moved back into the same degree at the time of today's earthquake. So Neptune's both at 1 degree aspect with both of these quakes which is quite interesting. And also Jupiter. Jupiter was having an aspect into the node on the left hand side of the first earthquake within three and a half degrees of separation squaring the nodes and Jupiter has now moved through with today's date earthquake. We have Jupiter making the same three degree aspect with the lunar nodes again. So there's a very interesting symmetry between the position of Neptune and also Jupiter for both of these quakes in Drake Passage. We're now going to be focusing on astrocartography and just looking at Pluto which is represented by the purple longitude line on the right hand side. Now we're just going to be looking at a series of stills of the stations that Pluto will be making over the next four or five years from 2020. Now if we note the actual line itself, the actual line of Pluto, its station is actually marking the exact epicenter for the 2025 earthquakes in May and also in August quite perfectly. If we have a look at the orientation of the node, the node's angle will also be quite interesting as it will be playing a role as to giving us an exact date of when these earthquake events have taken place and why they've taken place in 2025. Now if we have a look closely at this date, the 29th of April of 2022, we have a station of Pluto marking the exact epicenter of today's earthquake but also note the planetary alignment taking place on the same day. Venus and Neptune were in perfect conjunction and what's fascinating is that Venus and Neptune were in conjunction on the first earthquake that hit Drake's passage magnitude 7.4 that occurred on May 2nd. So a very interesting dynamic. The planetary station is giving us an earthquake epicenter for a future event and a planetary alignment is actually giving us another event. And that concludes this short video and astrolog of the magnitude 7.5 earthquake that struck Drake Passage earlier today. More information can be found at quakewatcher.com and solarwatcher.net. Will be more information for members and subscribers as well as website newsletters and astrocartography videos. Now we'll add a short clip of the May 2nd earthquake in Drake Passage magnitude 7.4 and thanks for watching. Greetings. This will be a video astrolog and analysis of the 7.4 magnitude earthquake that struck earlier this morning in the Drake Passage just south of South America and Argentina and along the Scotia Sea and the entranceway between Scotia Sea and also the South Shetland Islands. Now I have been expecting a very large earthquake in this general location for a few years now based on the solar eclipse information. Now the main area of focus would have been the Falkland Islands which is just slightly to the northeast and we can attribute the 7.4 magnitude earthquake in Drake Passage to the 2022 solar eclipse which is marking this location pretty well and it was a partial solar eclipse. The solar eclipses of 2021 and 2024 have a much stronger moon shadow on the earth and it could be another earthquake to come in the coming years based on the solar eclipse information.